Now, when it comes down to the bow drill method, it is very similar to the drill method, except you're going to want another stick with some rope. Um, I do have a photo that will go with this, just to kind of show what it will look like. This method is based on a rotational, rotational friction as well. This can be used during the day or while it's also getting darker out. It does use a little less energy and it will help get a fire going a little bit quicker versus the drill method. But one thing you do want to use is hand protection just so that way that wood doesn't spin into your hand and cause splinters. Um, it's best used with a dry wood. You can do it while it's breezy or rainy, but um, you want actually want to try and get that fire going before it starts raining. That way it won't take nearly as long. You can still get a fire going while it is wet out, but it will take a little bit more effort to do that as well. Um, so it's better off use dry and one of the more difficult but not too difficult uh, motions you can actually use so therefore the bow drill a little more efficient than some of the others but it's still a little lower on the list than some of the other methods that you, that you can use so therefore i'll rank the bow drill at least a number five on it as far as ease goes but it's still a very useful method and it's been around for a very long time so therefore it's still very useful for today's age